Converse logo here on the top. Let's bust these open. See what is up. Standard tissue paper. What's going on everybody? I'm Jeff Rope and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey how you doing? Today I got one big box I think there might be two pairs in there, might be three pairs. We're gonna bust it open, we're gonna check them out, see if they're any good, maybe not, I don't know. Let you decide, make sure to drop a like on the video, comment on the video, I don't get a whole lot of comments on my videos. Subscribe to the channel, uh, almost got this bad boy monetized, trying to get them watch hours cranked up just a little bit. I also have my Patreon available for only $1, so if you wanna go get some free knowledge, uh, you know, bunch of sellers, bunch of videos over here that I can't really uh, post over here just due to kind of like more direct sourcing. And of course, my whole older video catalog from my older channel. So if you miss seeing some of those videos, all of those are over there only for the low, low cost of $1. You also get your name featured at the end of my videos, which I think is pretty cool. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram because that's where the majority of the sauce is. And let's pull this bad boy into shot. Big box. What do you think? Think there's one pair, two pair? Comment down below how many pairs are gonna be in this box. I kinda went ahead and did a little pre-cut. There we go. Oh yeah. Smacking her around. Oh, had a nice pretty easy day at work. Gotta knock out some video. It's been about hot outside. It feels like a damn sauna. I wonder if I can just dump them. Yeah, that worked out really good. So I see a Nike Dunk box, a Chrome Hearts box, and we got another Nike box. And this is one of my favorite Jordans. This is the Nike Jordan Fragment 3. Or, uh, you know, that was really not the correct way to say that. This is the Jordan 3 Fragment. Uh, I've had my pair for quite a while now, and I think I was beyond due for a new one. So let's bust these crispy boys on out of here, huh? It does come with the Jordan Fragment tissue paper as well. Ooh, these look so good. Let's uh, close the box up here. Voila. Nice looking shoe. Beautiful looking shoe. Off the rip, you're just gonna get that nice rolled leather up at the top, going into the mid, which is just some smooth black leather all the way around the toe. No elephant print on this three. And then of course you're gonna get the Fragment logo. This is the back of the right shoe. It's also embossed there on the leather. And then you're gonna get another Fragment logo here on the back of the left shoe. Looks like there's a little keychain tucked in here as well. Comes with the keychain, which got the signature on there. Very cool, SS. S Sam C group, maybe. I'm not sure if that's from the factory or if that's part of the original shoe. Navy insert on here, which also displays that fragment logo. And then it's gonna have a little barcode down here on the outside of the shoe. And that is for both pairs. Let me grab my old pair here. So yeah, that's gonna, it's kinda at like a little bit of an angle as you can see. But overall, you can kind of tell where the wear's gonna be up here on the toe. But really my used pair don't look as bad as I guess I thought they did. Clorox wipe, anytime you got white leather, Clorox wipes are really, really good. Um, after you get done wearing them, Take them off your feet at the house, wherever you're staying, look under the kitchen sink, pull out a Clorox wipe, give it a quick wipe down, and it's gonna keep that white looking real nice and fresh. Periodically, you might change out the laces for some 
more white, but typically I still have the standard laces in there and they look fine. One thing, this is white inside. So over time, it is going to decolor, uh, get a little bit of yellowing just from sweating, different colored socks going in and out of it. But overall, the shoe's going to stay relatively crispy, just like it is out the box. I love my pair. If you don't have a pair of threes and you've been on the fence, I think the Fragment Threes is a great place to start. And this box is really, really sick. It's going to be an EU40. Got a Chrome logo here. Then you got the Converse logo there, but then also the Chrome Hearts and Converse logo here on the top. Let's bust these open. See what is up. Standard tissue paper. Boom. High top yellow Chrome Hearts Converse. And these are sick, man. So let's see, let's see. So everything literally has some Chrome Hearts branding on it, apart from the insole, unless this one has it. Yeah, so the insole is just about the only thing. It has a Chrome Hearts catch here down at the bottom, stainless steel, and then you're also going to get a Chrome Hearts dagger on the heel of the shoe, so that looks super duper sick. This is a pretty nice tone of yellow too, perfect for the fall. Kind of more of like a, what like a corduroy couch would have been. So you're going to get two crosses as well, two leather crosses on, that's going to be the inside of the shoe. And then you're just going to get that classic Chuck Taylor Converse All-Star badge on the inside. Oh, so the crosses, yeah, the crosses are on the outside. And then you got your just classic high top Chuck Taylor tongue on here super super nice does have a little bit of a gloss on the midsole you can kind of see it sheen in there absolutely sick i didn't even really know that these were a thing until i got to looking into them and they are definitely a thing i don't know if the yellow pair has even come out yet um but there is a few pairs of blacks that i have seen on posh and a couple of other um exchange websites I think Grailed had a couple pairs of the black ones, but man, those are sick. Those are super sick. Man, almost makes me wish I would have got my size, but I don't know. I already got quite a few pair of Dior high tops, and I'm kind of more of a low Chuck Taylor guy. Hmm. TGOD, shout out to Wiz Khalifa, man. A little Taylor Alderdice mixtape used to be the bangers back in the day. So I thought this was a dunk box, but it definitely is not. These are just some Nike runners that I saw that I thought looked absolutely sick and futuristic. I've been in the gym a lot lately, so I've kind of wanted to get some more alternate athletic stuff. Man, the sole on here is super duper hard, but then it has like foam almost. It kind of has like that boost foam in here. I'm not too sure the exact style name of these. Let me check really quick. This is the Nike Spark Flyknit in charcoal and white, and this is an EU45. Um, man, it looks super duper sick. It looks like a baseball trainer if you're a ball player. You got, know you guys got like the turf shoe that you wear before the cleat. That's kind of what this reminds me of, but it just has really great lines in it. Looks really, really comfy too. I'm kind of excited to put this bad boy on. Um, has kind of a suede lace and a, a felty, comfy inside. And then this is mesh cage over here. You can kind of hear the mesh. Silver Nike swoosh. Uh, let's put this bad boy on and see what she feels like. I assume these would be available at like Foot Locker or um, Foot Locker or Finish Line, you know, something along those lines. But I don't know if the Flyknit stuff is still selling out or super popular. Uh, damn, this is comfy as hell. Let's put the other one on. Man, these feel good. I'm not wearing socks right now, but they feel really, really good. 
just a nice kind of classic sneaker you know like the ones you pull out your closet whenever you're about to go got to go over the family's house or something you're like yeah i just need a nice comfy sneaker like this would be that one that you just grab out the closet don't even think about it just slap it on and you're on your way out the door i think they look pretty cool too maybe yeah they fit that's for sure super duper comfy as well my first pair of the sparks um i'm not sure if they're all fly knit or not like I said, it kind of has that boost material in here as well. I don't know if the camera will pick that up the best, but I will have more still shots over on the Instagram. Make sure you're following me over there. I do have a new one. If you think you're following me, just go double check because chances are you're not. Um, typically here in the last month or so, since I've been saying that in my videos, I've had another 100 or 200 or so people reach out. Um, so that's great. Don't be afraid. I'm going to help you out. I'm going to help you save some money. I'm going to point you in the right direction so you can be on your way to copping stuff just like this and all this behind me, all this on me. It's just kind of what I want to do. It's what I want to help you do. And I want you to allot your money to something a little bit more meaningful, especially if you're going to be dropping hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Um, you know, there's just multiple ways to get dripped out nowadays. And I've seemed to find a pretty good avenue. And I want to share that with you all. Uh, the Patreon's $1 right now. Make sure you join that. And yeah, I'm Jeff Rope. Thanks for tuning in today. And I'll see you guys next time when I got some more stuff for you.